Hello everyone, I hope you're having a good day. Today we will have a tutorial on generators in Starbase. So when you're looking for generators, it will be under the machinery folder in generators, and that will be where everything you need is. So right here in front of us, we have a basic generator made using those parts. So what you need in a basic generator, you need the fuel chamber with a small fuel rod inserted into it. You'll need a generator unit, a socket board, and a cooling rack with cooling cells in it. So a generator in the fuel chamber, this is fuel versus propellant. So you will actually be using fuel here and this fuel rod will be consumed. It has 300,000 units of fuel in it. And then using this, it will be turned into power in the generator and you'll use the socket board to get that power out you'll use a cable to wire it up to your ship and that's how you'll power your ship and then the cooling board is required for if you are using these cooling cells and that is what will cool your generator and if you do not have a way of cooling your generator it will not run but so generators are modular in nature so you can make them however you like so for instance this is one setup you could have of a fuel rod and generators. This generator would would not work as there are a couple like very necessary pieces missing. But this is just to illustrate the example. You can have three generators per fuel chamber. Now, this will take fuel at an increased rate, but it will allow the creation of more power than would normally be available. You can also have it with just two or as seen before, just the one. So if you don't want to use these cooling racks though, and you don't want to have to carry these cells with you, what you can do is you can use a radiator. So a radiator is made, you have a device base, a device hard point, and then you'll use a radiator base and then radiator extensions. And you'll hook this up to power and a wire and then that will allow it to interface with your generator. So that requires a special part on your generator though. So on your generator, you have the socket board. That's what you use for power. But what you'll need here is the pipe socket board. So it's blue instead of red. And you'll just put this right onto your generator. And then you'll wire it up as you would a cable, except with a pipe. And you need to make sure that the pipe is on the same network as the cooling, uh, the radiator. So as the cooling device is on. If they're on separate networks, then it won't work. And you can also put them on the same network as propellant. There's no restrictions there. And then, so also another facet of generators you have is enhancers. So you have tier one, two, and three. So what does tier one, two, and three mean? So it means how many modules it can directly influence. So when you put one of these enhancers on the side, so I have a tier two here, that means it will enhance these two segments of my generator. And it only enhances in a straight line. And they each only have one-sided connectors, so you can only put them in one direction. And I also have a couple tier ones here, and those will only reach these fuel chambers. So the, st the effects they do, if you have multiple enhancers onto one object, it will enhance it a little bit more, but not very much so. One enhancer per item on your generator will work just fine, and it will improve the efficiency of your generator a lot. It will make you use much less fuel, and it will create energy at a much more efficient rate than what you would normally be used to. And so they are very helpful in f for long distance ships. Now, a curious thing you might note is on my generator, I have these empty cooling racks. So this generator is meant to use radiators to cool it. So when you have a radiator cooling your generator, you do not need to have the cooling cells in your generator. When you have them in and you have a radiator hooked up, it will just use the cooling cells instead of the radiator. So you want to make sure that you don't actually have them in your generator. Now something I like to do just in case uh, like your radiator gets shot off is have a 
one of those cooling cells just bolted to the generator somewhere. And that's usually a reliable thing to have as a just-in-case scenario. But So that's really about it for generators. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment and I can answer that. And if you like this video, please check out my other tutorials. And if you would like and subscribe, that would be wonderful. So have a good rest of your day and hopefully I'll see you around.